presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jacques Leba, who was confident that he had killed Shanghai Lil in their gun duel in the dark, learned to his chagrin that she was still alive and proceeding with her plans to marry Jungle Jim. Securing a high-powered rifle, he started out to put an end to the Batwoman. Meanwhile, at the jungle altar, the Reverend Chalmers tried one excuse after another to keep from reading the words which would unite Jim and Shanghai Lil. Finally, he was forced by white-hot irons held over him to start the ceremony. With the weird native chants and tom-toms as a background for the Christian service, Jim made his marriage responses. But just as Lil was about to make hers, a shot rang out and she fell, wounded to the ground. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. All is confusion around the altar as the Batwoman falls to the ground. Reverend! Shanghai Lil! She's been shot! Is she dead, Jim? No. She's still breathing. We must get her up to the big house. Here, Mamba, while you. Yes. Drop those irons and pick up your mistress. Yes, it's one. While you. Kakun Gabo's man going fine. One of you other boys run ahead of us and tell her house girl to make her bed ready for her. And fetch me some hot water and some cloth for bandages. Come on, Reverend. We'll have to do what we can for her. These native doctors don't know anything. Well, Jim, I guess that cancels the wedding. Permanently. I tried to delay it as long as possible myself, but you insisted on recovering most miraculously. I was still groggy, Doctor. Yes, I, know. I didn't realize I was supposed to play up to you. I couldn't very well get sick after I said I was all right. No, but I didn't expect you to agree to the ceremony. That certainly did surprise me. It left me without a leg to stand on. Reverend, at that moment, neither of us had a leg to stand on. This little lady was through making threats. She intended having that ceremony performed. Watch out there, ma'am, but don't drop her. Yes, it's fine. Yes, sir, Reverend. Lou was really going to give orders to have those hot irons used on you. I know she was, Jim. You... Oh, you're a great guy, Reverend. The finest I've ever met. I want you to know that. Whatever happens, I'll never forget you, sir. Never. Thank you, Jim. Hold your missy's head up while you're, you fool. Yes, it's too on. But I don't see why you should be willing to go through all this torture for me, Reverend. I'm a man of principle. I live my life by my principles, Jim. But I don't mind admitting there was a personal as well as a spiritual feeling in the stand I took. There aren't many men like you down here, Jim. Oh, come now, Reverend. No, 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 that's true. And that's the trouble with this country around here. Both the natives and the decent white people of the jungle could stand a few more like you. Mm, I don't know about that, Reverend. All I know is that I like to see everything clean and above board. And everybody, no matter what the race, the creed or color, getting a square deal. I wish everybody lived that way. What a place this world would soon be. Here we are. Easy now, boys. Up the stairs. I'll open the door for you. Bring her right in here, boys. Missy, what happened? Stop standing there gawking, girl. Have you the Missy's bed ready? Yes, it was their bed. All right, boys. Lay her down easy. Easy now. Oh. Now beat it. Get out of here. Yes, one. Where's the water and basins, girl? Get him. Yes, it one. Ever been a nurse, Reverend? Jim, during the war, a chaplain was everything. Good. You can help me while I play doctor. Right. He awarded one. Okay, girl. Set him down and get the missy's clothes off and get her into bed. We'll wait on the veranda. Call us as soon as you've finished and then we'll dress her wound. Yes, it won't. Me fix. As I was saying, Jim, there aren't many men like you. I'm glad I was prevented from pronouncing the fatal words that would have bound you legally to that wicked woman in there. Well, my agreeing to go on with the ceremony wasn't as serious as you thought, Reverend. I planned on checking out of here myself at the very first opportunity. I think I could have been freed from Shanghai Lil in any law court in the world. No doubt, Jim. But thank Providence you were spared the trouble. Who do you suppose our delivering angel was? Who shot the Batwoman? I'm not sure myself, Reverend. But Jacques Labar was the only one jealous enough to do it. Missy, ready to one. Okay, girl. Come along, Reverend. Let's see what we can do for Shanghai Lil. Meanwhile, out on the jungle trail, three people stand gazing toward the flickering altar fires. They are Lynn Chalmers, 
Colo and Jacques Labat. Ah, what I tell you. This time I fixed that Shanghai Lil for good. You must have struck her. I saw someone all dressed in white fall to the ground. Yes, it's one. Colo, see butt woman fall down. Sacre You bet you my life, Lily, fall down. She get eye power bullet right through the head. How terrible. Terrible for why? It is all over for you know what happened. It better for die like that to know you're going to die. Yes, I guess you're right, Labar. But you didn't have to kill her. You might just have wounded her, and that would have stopped the ceremony just as well. Watch your talk. If I no kill her this time, she get better. She go through this ceremony again. Better for kill her now and finish the job. Her, bad woman. Better she die. Say, sir, bad girl, you said the truth, boy. She was the person behind this new religion, wasn't she? We. Oui. Lily, she make all that huff. I got four to handle for that. She put on one big show here. All dressed up like big black bat when she make the mumbo jumbo. By girl, me, Jacques Laba, never seen nothing like that. No flesh. And now there won't be any more bat religion. No more mumbo jumbo. Lily and me, we run that. Now, Lily, she's dead. You say you and the Batwoman ran the fake religion. We. Oui. You're still alive. Aren't you going to keep it up? No, I don't care about that. We only do it for Lily. You. Yes, it's one. You can spread the word that the Batwoman is dead. There is no more Dambala. No more master of the sky, master of the earth. Just one God, Le Bon Dieu. The Padre talk about. Kolu, no believe, Batwoman. Kolu believe. Big fella, master on top in sky. Big fella, master on top in the sky. By God, I wonder what it's like up there. I wonder if Lily, she up there. If she honestly repented of her sins, she will be, Labar. You believe that? Yes, I do. If Jacques Labar repent, he go up there? Yes. Then, by God, I repent. I sorry for everything I do in this whole world. I sorry I kill Lily. Lily, I love you. I love you. What I do now without you. I must see Lily again. My God, I go where she is. Lily. Back at the plantation house, the operation has been completed. There. Boy, that was a close one, Reverend. The bullet got her in the neck. Just missed the jugular vein. But she'll be out of danger now. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I don't like to see people die violent deaths. God will call us to judgment in his own good time. I'll just wash up and then give the native girl instructions for the care of Lil here. Get our stuff, Reverend. We're leaving this place. Right you are. I'll collect our things. Uh, send that girl in here, will you? Right. Come in here, my girl. You'll have to take care of Missy. Come here, girl. Yes, it one. Now, every day, you put a clean cloth around Missy's neck, Savvy? Yes, it one. And put some of this medicine on the wound. Yes, it one. Be sure you do that, or your Missy will die. Oh. oh, oh. She must be coming out of it. What? What happened? Niji. Niji? Yes, Missy. What happened? Oh. Where's Jim? I'm right here. Oh. Take it easy, Lil. You've got a rather nasty wound in your neck. Wound? Yes. Someone took a shot at you during the wedding ceremony. Are we married? We are not. That bullet hit you just in time to prevent it. La bar. That's the horse I put my money on, too, Lil. I never liked him any too well up to now. But if he's the boy who saved me from you, I owe him a vote of thanks. We will be married as soon as I get well, Jim. Oh, no, we won't. Those days are gone forever. I'm number one man here now, Shanghai Lil. And what I say goes. And I say I'm pulling freight out of here right now. Wait until I get better, Jim. And I'll go with you. No, thanks. I'm not waiting for anything. Can't you see? I love you. Don't leave me, Jim. I, I need you. Save that for the next victim, Lil. 
You and I are quits. Jimmy must listen to me. You must believe me when I tell you this. I love you. I really do. I've loved you ever since we met that day in a Flynn's cafe. I made up my mind then that I, I'd make you marry me. You tried hard enough. I'll say that for you. I tried the only way I knew, by force. I know now that was the wrong way to go at it. From now on, I'll, I'll, I'll make you fall in love with me. Then we'll be married. I'm not the marrying kind, Lou. You're stalking the wrong game. Someday you'll marry me, Jim. Pretty sure of me, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sure of myself. Well, you'd better stop talking now and get some sleep. You lost plenty of blood. Who, who dressed my throat? You? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jim. Forget it. You get some shut-eye and get your strength back. I've given your girl instructions about the dressing. She'll take care of you from now on. You'll be gone when I wake up? If all goes according to Hoyle. Jim, will you forgive me for everything that's happened here? Sure, why not? My friend Dr. Chalmers is free again. I guess you couldn't help acting like you did. Well, goodbye, Lily DeVrio. Let's not say goodbye, Jim. Let's make it au revoir. Because I'll be seeing you around. After collecting their things, Jungle Jim and the Reverend Chalmers leave the Batwoman's plantation and start out into the hills looking for Lynn and Colo. Well, Jim... We're free of the bat woman at last. Mm, yes, Reverend. All we have to do now is find your daughter and Kolu. Yes, I, I hope they're all right. Well, Reverend, look. Here comes someone. It it looks like Lynn. It is. And there's Kolu. Yeah. Kolu! Swan Jim, you all right? You bet I'm all right. Oh, Daddy, I was afraid I'd never see you again. Oh, Lynn, my daughter, my little girl, how I missed you. Gosh, Kolu, I'm glad to see you. And you too, Lynn. We're both glad to see you, Jim. One Jim. We see man shoot but woman. It was Jacques Labar. What did I tell you, Reverend? Where is he now, Lynn? Me show you, one Jim. Him shoot but woman. And then he confessed about that fake religion, Dad. And then... Uh, him jump over a cliff. Him dead. May God have mercy on him. Well, that's the end of Jacques Labar. And the bat woman, Jim. Thank heaven she's out of the way. No, no, you're wrong, my dear. Lily de Vril is still alive. What? <laughs> That's right, Lynn. I said goodbye to her just before we left. Then we aren't rid of her yet. I don't know about you and your father, but Lil promised to see me again sometime. And you, you're you going to let her? Not if I see her first. Now that Jungle Jim has escaped from the clutches of the Batwoman, what great new adventure is in store for him? These adventures of Jungle Jim are dramatized from scenes pictured in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The Big Comic Weekly, which is distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the delightfully interesting and humorous Comic Weekly, you will find all of the famous people who live in the world of color pictures. The amusing antics of the Little King, the adventures of Skippy, the troubles of bringing up Father. There's also Barney Google, the Cats and Yammer Kids, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. Don't forget our date next week. The same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.